All right, we know, we know, we know that PDF.ai is your favorite. However, I'm sure you've heard of a couple different alternatives. And maybe some of you are from that alternative that are trying to check out how we are. Hello, how you doing? We here at PDF.ai pride ourselves on being the ultimate PDF platform for all of your needs. In this video, we're gonna dive into why we're better, because we are. Not oh, but seriously, we're gonna give them a fair shake, yeah. First of all, what can you do with PDF.ai? PDF.ai allows you to chat with not just one of your PDFs, but all of them. By pressing on the chat all button, there's no need to dig through files. You can get AI answers across multiple documents and not only do that, but actually ask questions across all of them using GPT-4. As you can see, you have the choice to choose between 3.5 and 4, and you can choose to chat only with this PDF or not. But say I ask a basic question, of what would be a good mixture of advice between 10 steps to saving time and doing more for productivity and life advice from Seneca's letters. Should be interesting, especially with GPT-4. As you can see here, based on the question, it's gonna spin out answers from not only this PDF, but multiple of them within here. Now, another great feature that you get from PDF.ai is if you go to the Chrome extension, and if we were to download this as a PDF and upload it inside of our account, say for example, it was a picture, we could actually OCR for scanned documents as there are different documents like this that don't necessarily have text. They're just images that are like taken of with pictures. You can actually scan with OCR in order to interpret that text and have it go right in to make it a real PDF. How about that? Another great feature for PDF.ai is that if I were to speak another language, it will interpret something like this over here and spit it out in another language. Say my account was set to Spanish or French or Chinese. It would actually spit this question response out over here into that respective language, which is awesome. Now, what are some of the features that you won't find inside of chat PDF that you have here with PDF.ai? First and foremost, if you click on this little pencil icon right here, we can add tags. So I can make one called productivity. And then if I press save, you'll notice that I have one for productivity and then a few for philosophy as well. Another great one here would be, go to page two, praise of idleness is another great philosophy option here that we can add save and say there's a specific portion that I wanted to just summarize I could grab it right here and then press summarize and then on the right here it would quickly summarize that text in just a few clicks and another great thing you can do is when you're uploading a PDF rather than having it be on the public portion of your account what you can do is you can actually privatize this document so the PDF will not be stored on PDF.ai servers you only be able to chat with the document but not view it so I press upload would be a private document. And then from here, oh my God, I can't see what's going on. Give me a summary of the document. I don't I can't see it. Yeah, it's just a great way to prevent any security issues that you think could come up. Another really cool thing that you'll see is the prompt library that we have here. So it comes with a few of them already, right? So my prompt library is by default here, but as you'll notice, I've actually created a few prompts. And a great way to create prompts and then save them is to actually do something along these lines. What are the five key points of this article? Press that. And then after doing that, I can press the plus symbol once this finishes up right here. And you'll see it's added to the prompt library. So now I can go here, go to mine, and then you'll see right here that these are the prompts. And I can actually change this to something else if I'd like, like three points. And then from there, you'll notice that now I could ask that same question, but slightly different. We also have a amazing suite of PDF tools that are not just this product. If we go to the top right and click on PDF tools, you'll notice that we have things like a resume checker, a resume scanner, an invoice scanner, a quiz generator, and the ability to merge PDFs, split them, change various file types to PDFs and to other file types. It's awesome. We have so many great tools that pair along with PDF. AI as a main product. Now, when it comes to the pricing, if you're curious on that, we can go here and you'll see that there is a multitude of different options, ranging from zero to $30 per month, mattering on what you're looking for. I think the ultimate plan is great for a lot of people, but it's completely up to your discretion. You can try it out for free forever. 
Now, what is chat PDF? So for chat PDF as well, it does actually speak your language. So it can read PDFs and answer in any language as well. So you can upload a PDF in one language and ask questions in another. Very similar to what you can do with PDF.ai. And from a pricing standpoint, if you pay about $20 a month for the monthly plan and then $140 a month for the yearly plus plan, you get unlimited PDFs, unlimited questions, 2000 page PDFs is the max number for one PDF. And the file size can be about 32 megabytes, which is smaller than what we have on PDF that I just saying. But overall, it just doesn't have the same kind of stuff. You don't really have collaboration. It's just a more limited product overall. The UI UX is a little less pretty, I'll be honest. No prompts, no nothing like we have here at PDF.ai. This is a competitor, but meh, competition. I'm not so sure if that's the right word, but I am sure that you should check out more content like this one and how to improve your skills using tools like PDF.ai even more.